And if you don't know, it's a fish. It's a very light fish, very delicate, and it doesn't have much flavor by itself. So this particular uh, fish I like to prepare with uh, breadcrumbs and some flour, but I'm not going to add as much as you would probably see it anywhere else. So welcome back. And if this is your first time here, my name is Anira and I create recipes, regular recipes, that are tweaked just a little bit so we can have the balance between the flavor and the nutrition of the food. So if this is something that you like, make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification, make sure you smash the like button so you don't miss any recipes when I post. So let's get started with the cooking. So I have here a little bit of breadcrumbs and really a little bit goes a, wrong, a very long way. So I have actually only quarter of a cup of breadcrumbs and I'm gonna put this first. Next, all-purpose flour. And it's actually half of the breadcrumbs, so it's about 30 grams, which is like an ounce, which is probably like one eighth of a cup. Next, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of paprika, just for the extra flavor, and a little bit of freshly squeezed, not freshly squeezed, <laughs> freshly cracked black pepper. And next, I'm gonna get some, instead of one whole egg, which is not really gonna enhance any flavor that yolk in this particular recipe, I'm just gonna add egg whites. So you're adding a little bit of protein, at the same time, you don't have as many calories. And trust me, you don't need that flavor from the egg yolk. You're not gonna even taste it. Trust me on that one. So let's uh, mix together the breadcrumbs with flour and spices. And actually you can add more spices if you'd like. If you'd like to have a little bit maybe of oregano, that I would add as well. There you go. All right, and next is the fish. So making sure that that mixture, the flour mixture is well incorporated. And here we go. So I'm gonna start first with the first piece of fish and I'm gonna cover it well throughout the whole thing. And you can grab it at the end of a tail and wiggle here, wiggle there so it's fully covered. And once it is, I'm gonna submerge it. Actually, you can leave it like this and fry it this way if you don't want the coating to be too thick and it's perfectly fine. Again, you're not gonna lose much, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of egg white and submerge it back into my flour and breadcrumb mixture. And there you go. My first one is done and you're gonna continue. Uh, for this one, I'm gonna actually use three Mm, probably like two ounce, three ounce fillet. So go ahead and if you have more, if you have bigger family, uh, use a little bit more. And you're probably gonna use, have to double the, the flour uh, and breadcrumb mixture. And in the meantime, while I'm making this, I'm gonna heat up the pan so it's nice and hot when the fish is being prepared. All right, I'm ready to fry the fish and on the heated pan, I'm gonna add a half a tablespoon of butter first. So I like to go a little bit, I would say, easy on the butter. And once I need more, I'll keep on adding it. That way, you're gonna save some most needed calories. If you care, of course. But if you're gonna, at the end, get the same taste, I mean, saving a little bit of calories is pretty good, good strategy. So my butter is browning extremely fast. Means the pan is very hot, and you do want the pan to be hot because, very important part, 
because if it's not hot enough, the fish will cook and you're not gonna get that flavor that you're looking for, meaning nice and crispy outside of the fish and tender inside. And that is exactly what I'm looking for. So as you can see, you don't really have to put lots of butter and drown the fish in the butter. And it's still gonna taste as good, guaranteed. I already tried, so trust me. So it's gonna take about three, maybe four minutes per side. Granted, they're extremely thin, so they cook very, very fast. And if you overcook them, what's gonna happen, you're gonna have a very tough fish and that taste doesn't taste any good. See? Can you see this? It looks perfect. So this one is much better. I'm gonna flip it. So as you can see, the, the pan is dry, but we're gonna add butter. See, look, do you see this? Perfect. Oh, this one didn't come out right. Boom. Now I'm gonna swivel all around so all the parts of the fish get it and basically two more minutes, three more minutes, but who's counting? Definitely I don't, unless I make a mistake. That happens a lot. So here it is. Delicious, perfectly fried flounder. Yeah, I got so excited I knocked the microphone down. It is really good. I really highly recommend it. It took me what? Five, ten minutes? No, maybe 10, 15 minutes, I'm not gonna lie. But it doesn't take much longer. And we didn't use that much butter and we got perfectly beautiful buttery fish. So I hope you enjoy it. Tell me what you think in the comment down below. Click the subscribe button, bell notification, like, and I'll see you on the next one.